Hello my beautiful friends, it's me Sunita, and today is Saturday, uh, Saturday the 30th, I believe, and today I had a goal, my goal, which I put on a sheet of paper, was to complete up to row 50 of this. And so, I'm actually on row 48. Almost done with it. I just have this much left of row 48. But let me tell you guys something. <laughs> I got yarn barf, so I had, this is how much I was able to re-cake. But I still have all of this that threw up basically this is the original scheme and I center pulled it but now I know put it on the wall genie and you have no problems so if I use this for something else that is exactly what I'm going to do. But I'm not. So. What I'm hoping for. Is to do. 49 and 50. And maybe possibly 51. Depending on how much I can get. Out of this little ball of yarn. Because. This is going to take me. Forever and a day to try to untangle. And I'm over it. But this yarn, if I say so, on a scale of 1 to 10 of softness, I would give it a solid 8.5. It's very soft. But because of the yarn barf that I had twice already, No bueno. But it's my fault because I'm used to pulling from the center. But now I know. Long story short, I'm really going to try really, really hard to finish the next two rows with what little I have untangled. But I do want to start another one. And I was originally going to start with the Hobie Bingo, which is very soft in that red color, which is this one. Hobie Bingo. This is actually Matt's color. Matthias. Mat Matthias. Matthias. I don't know how to say his real name. I'm going to call him Matt. But I have five of these when it was on sale. And this is soft. But this is actually a, a two weight. And so I don't think I want to join. So the other option is to go behind the TV and pull out my yarn from Hobby Lobby, no, from Lion Brand, which is the Pound of Love, and work one up with that. And that's like almost, I believe, almost a thousand yards. I don't know, I gotta figure it out, but I haven't looked at it. At. Lion Brand Pound of Love in a long time. I do remember when I used it for the hats when I had a blue one. There was a lot of joins. Like, they joined a bunch of little scenes together. I wasn't a fan of that. But if I don't have to join it, and it's already joined for me, I don't see what the problem would be. <laughs> But yeah, 
how many of you guys are working on this shawl? Which is in the mood for melody. 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 My words. I'm a little tired. But that's because last night I stayed up till like 3 o'clock in the morning. Not even realizing it was that late. Because I was working up and I wanted to finish to row 45 last this morning. Not last night, but this morning. Which is okay because when you have your heart set on getting projects done or started or completed, when you set goals, you get it done. No matter what. Don't just start something and not finish it. Unless you run into situations where it takes you out of your positive mind and frame and into a negative one. But look on the brighter side and do what you got to do, my friends. I'm going to go back to focusing on this shawl. And uh, maybe I'll come back and show you where I'm at. Let's cross those fingers that I finish up to row 50 with that new ball of yarn that hopefully will just magically unbarf itself, untangle itself. What's the word? You guys know the words. Words are not <laughs> part of my specialty when I'm like lacking in sleep. Yeah. And um, that's it and that's all. Okay, my beautiful friends. It is three o'clock in the morning. Another 3 a.m. working on in the mood for a melody. Now, I got as much as I could. I got to row 51 with a double crochet and I had this much left, like four or five stitches left. But I technically had enough to finish that row, but I could not get the yarn untangled. So, I frogged it all the way back and just did single crochets on the top row. So, here is the completed shawl. With a row of single crochet versus the double crochet. What do you think? I think it still works. So, on to making another one. Now, I went back and forth looking for the perfect yarn to make a real completed pattern with the keyboards and everything. Or, yeah, the, the keyboard of the shawl because we just have the actual shawl with the music note which I don't know what the music note is called but anyway long story short I did want to make it with the red but then I was like but I like blue and I forgot that I got blue of this Hobi Bingo Hobby Bingo I've been saying Hobi this whole time to me this is always going to be Hobi because that's what I remember. So, I have five skeins of it. And this time, just for the S and giggles, I'm going to use my Will Genie and work from the outside. I am going to use a five millimeter hook, my dad's clover hook. I did get a bunch of these um, containers, but because the Will Genie is too tall, I technically can't close the lid, but I could. 
when it's not in use. But that's nor here or there. The shawl is completed. Well, as much as it can be because you guys want to see the yarn barf, right? This is what I was able to untangle. This is bread spaghetti. I'm not going to chuck it. I'm going to save it and put it in, use it as stuffing. Or maybe I'll take it one day and just untangle it. I don't know. For right now, it's going to sit in the pile of scraps. So, actually, I'm going to start this after I make our hot pad with stitching together with friends 